Welcome back. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And today we have a very special vlog. Part three, the ending of the Paul Blyle story. Rest in peace. Paul was an amazing friend, brother, husband, and son. So we appreciate Paul for all the stuff that he did. And we're gonna start the blog right now. He was born June 5th, 1957 to Harvey and Charlotte Belial. Paul had a great childhood days and he just was a happy-go-lucky guy. And in 1950s, Paul's dad, Harvey, he started Belial's Restaurant. Do you know that one? Do you know that one? And Belial's Restaurant. It was operating for like 25 years. and it was near Disneyland and it opened at about the same time as Disneyland. And many famous celebrities went to Blyle's restaurant. I never have been there but I saw it lots of times. And Tom and Roseanne Arnold, the famous couple of Hollywood, used to always go there. And I used to read about it. Roseanne would say, I like Valayo's restaurant. It's the bomb. It's the best restaurant in town. So lots of people went to Valayo's and his family worked really hard to make that business a success. Paul lived on a little cul-de-sac. It was only about four homes long and it was a big circle cul-de-sac in Orange off of Prospect Avenue. It was one of those beautiful big Meredith homes and Paul had a beautiful swimming pool. We talked about jumping off the roof with the bicycles into the water. So Paul just had a great place. He had a great home and they lived there for like 25 years. I think it was 1981 they ended up moving and also Belial's restaurant ended up closing around that time also. But it was bought by the city of Garden Grove. They bought it. Paul had a great childhood and he was a motorcycle rider. We talked about that in the first couple of blogs. Paul just loved motorcycles and he was a big inspiration to me also. After Paul's Speedway days, Paul met and married the love of his life, Eileen. They were married September 18th, 1982. And they were married for a long time. Today would be their 38th year anniversary, their wedding anniversary today. Happy anniversary, Paul and Eileen Belial. I'm sure Paul is thinking about the love of his life today and wishing her a happy anniversary.
After Speedway, Paul fell in love with horses. He was doing all kinds of horse things. He was showing very expensive horses for his family. He was doing rodeo riding. He was even riding the bull. Paul went from racing speedway to riding the bulls, crashing on both sports, by the way. He also did some active charity work. Paul was a volunteer firefighter for the city of Temecula. For like five years, Paul was helping with the fires. He was also a very gifted oil painter. He did a lot of painting for his bicycle helmets. He was a mountain bike rider and he painted all those helmets. He also designed the logo for the ranch. For his ranch, he designed the logo. Paul also liked tattoos. He had many of them. And before his passing, he was designing his tattoo with Greg James. He only went to Greg James because he thought Greg James was the best tattoo artist in Southern California. Well, that's it, the Paul Blyle blog. We sure love and miss Paul. He touched so many lives in so many ways. And more than anything else, Paul was a really great guy. Thank you so much for watching the three-part series of Paul Belial. He was just an amazing guy, like I mentioned, and we want to honor his life. Thank you so much for watching the Paul Belial vlog. The three-part series, the three-part series. I hope you enjoyed them. Got a lot of response, really good. And Paul is just an amazing guy. That's why people like him, because Paul is good. So thank you once again for liking the video and also subscribing to my channel. It means so much and we want to invite you to be part of our family. So thank you again. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell. Rest in peace, Paul. We'll see you on the other side. God bless.